What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, let's continue our discussion about Revit Mechanical Certification Preparation. Okay, so this time we're going to learn how to place duct, duct fittings, and duct accessories. So basically, we're going to learn how to add duct components. So let's get this thing started. So what we're going to do, of course, let's activate the duct tool. So you have several ways to activate your duct tool. The first one is by going to the Systems tab. So there's the Systems tab. And then from the HVAC panel, you can see here the duct. So you just need to click the duct tool. Or you can also type the shortcut, which is DT, as you can see on the name. So there's the shortcut DT. So you, you, it's either you click this icon or you just type DT. Okay? So once you click or activate your duct tool, you will be presented here by options. So you have the options bar. So you'll be able to change the width. You can change the height here and you can also change the middle elevation. So aside from that, you also have here your contextual tab. Okay, duct, uh, place the contextual tab or in from the placement tools. You can specify here the justification. You can automatically uh, connect. It allows connecting to snaps on a component when starting or ending segments. So you can also inherit the elevation of the element being snapped to, or you can even uh, inherit the size of the element being snapped to. So you can also activate tag on placement here. So meaning to say when you place your uh, duct, automatically there's a duct already, or I mean there's a tag already that will be placed on your duct. So let's say if I turn this on, okay, and then let's click our first point. So let's say I'll just uh, do one here. So I'll just use the width here, 12 inches by 12 inches. And you can also change here, by the way, the type from the type selector. So let's say I'll be using a rectangular mitered uh, elbow stees. So let's click this one. So you just need to pick the first point. And then you can pick the second point here. And then you can click this second point or the third point here to place your duck. So as you can see, there's already the uh, tag. Okay, because tag on placement e here is activated. So if I'm going to turn that off like that, so I'm going to place again another duct here. So as you can, as you can see, there is no tag anymore. Okay, so to terminate your duct tool, all you have to do is to select modify or you just need to press escape uh, multiple times to totally terminate your duct tool. Okay, so let me just click my tag here and then I'm, uh, I'm just going to delete that. I don't need that one. Okay, so that's your duct tool. So that's how you create your duct. So let's say you want to continue your duct work on our let's say to this duct so all you have to do you just need to click the duct like that and then you see there's a node there you can right click that and then there's an option here draw duct you can even uh, draw a duct placeholder or flexible duct or cap the open end so let's say I'll just select here draw duct so let's click that one so I'm gonna place one here and there you go so it's not difficult so you just need to uh, select the duct tool and lay out your design okay so another way to activate your duct tool aside from selecting your duct tool here or typing the shortcut dt is by selecting a component with a duct connector so make sure the family has a duct connector so let's say for example this one so this is my uh, mechanical equipment so as you can see i have here several connect uh, connectors so i have connector here for a duct so i have here connector here for my uh, power so i also have here connector for my uh, pipes and hydronic pipes okay and sanitary pipes and I also have here another connector for the duct. Okay, so you can activate your duct tool by selecting a family with a duct connector. 
okay so let's say for this one i'm going to add a connector uh duct here so i'm going to select this it will inherit the elevation of that particular equipment so as you can see here's now my uh, my third elbows this rectangular duct so you can specify before you pick your second point the width here the height as well as the middle elevation so let's say i'm going to create one here so obviously we are just exploring creating our duct so let's say i'm going to place one here like that and then i'm going to place another one here Okay, so let's say, for example, you want to change the dimension, the width, so you can change from here. So you can click the drop down arrow, and let's say I'm going to make that like 30 inches. Okay, and as you can see, when you click another point, it will adjust, so it will create now the transition. Okay, so let's say you want to go up, so you want your dock to go up. So that's the option of our middle elevation. So you just need to modify the middle elevation. So currently it's 10 feet. So I can change this one. So I'm going to make that, let's say, uh, 15 feet. Enter. And then don't forget to apply. Okay, so once you apply, so this is now how it looks like. So I'm going to select the modify here. And I'm going to hover my pointer to the dock. And then I'm going to press tab to select the connection. And then I'm going to select it, click. And then let's select here uh, selection box. So let us see this one in 3D view. And there you go. Right? So there is our dock that's going up. There you go. Okay. So let's go back again to our mechanical uh, ground floor okay so you can also do your ducting like this so let's say uh, let me check the 3d again so let me just move my section box move this let's move like this orbit okay so let's say for example for this one you can lay out your duct in the 3d view as well Okay, but I'm going to do that on the floor plan view. So I select the um, mechanical ground floor. So I click this tool here. So I'm going to select this right click, draw duct. So I'm going to pick here. And let's say you do not want to clash with this duct. So again, you can specify the uh, elevation. So select that one. And then let's say I'm going to type uh, 13 feet, enter. So I'm not going to select apply. But I'm just going to pick another point here. And you will notice it will create a transition there. So I was able now to change the height of my duct. So let's have a look in the 3D view. So modify. Let's check that one in 3D view. And that's what I'm talking about. Okay. And like what I have said, you can also do your... 3D modeling in 3D view. So let's click this one. Right click. Uh, draw duct. So let's say that will going to be my uh, 5 inches or whatever size that I want. And then make sure that's straight. So you click that. Again, there's a transition. And then you can pick another one here. Just like that. And then you can continue your ducting. And then just select here the modify. To terminate your tool okay now let's say for example you want to add a duct accessory okay so let's say you want to add your duct accessory so what i'm gonna do is uh i'm just going to move my equipment i'm going to drag that so you will notice it will stretch out and then let's say i'm going to move here like that okay so it's still connected. So I'm going to add here a uh, duct accessory. Okay, so to do that, you just need to go to the systems again. And then from the HVAC panel, you can see here my duct accessory. So there's a shortcut for duct accessory, which is uh, DA. Okay, so just click that one. All right, and then from your type selector, so let's say I want a damper. So I'm going to search from here. So I'm going to type dump 
damper. Okay, so there's my fire damper standard. So I'm going to select that one. And then I'm going to click a duck to place the instance of my damper. So I'm going to click here. And there you go. And then I'll just select here, uh, modify. Just like that. And then let's have a look of this one in 3D view. So I'm going to select this. And then again, select the selection box. And let's adjust the section box. So let's click that. Let's adjust the section box. And there you go. Okay. So there's my uh, accessory. So if you click the accessory, as you can see, you can still modify that. You can still rotate your accessory. Okay. You can click that. And then you can go back again to your floor plan and then check your accessories so you can flip like that okay so that's how you place your accessory now let's say you are done with your ducting and then you want to place an end cap on an open ends okay so to do that let's say for for this duct here for example so i'm gonna select this and then there's a tool here that is called cap open ends so you just need to click that one you just need to make sure that you have a loaded family in your project okay so just click that and there you go so there's now a cap on my duck so let's click this one and then hold control then click this one too and then let's uh, turn on or select selection box to see that in 3d view and there you go so there's my duck and then there's the cap okay so basically this is how you that this is how you add a uh, duck uh, components okay so that's how you create your duck that's how you uh, lay out so that's how you add a accessory and that's how you add a cap so it's not difficult so if you have time you just need to explore more your duck components before you take the examination but hopefully you have something in this video you have learned something so thank you for watching guys have a nice day